Hello, I'm Eric Snodgrass, and thank you for watching today's Ag Forecast for South America, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. We're going to begin where we left off in Monday's video, and that is just take a look at the updated precipitation map. This is satellite-derived precipitation April 1st through the 21st. And again, our story kind of comes down to what's been happening in southern Brazil. So I'm specifically talking about the southern part of Mato Grosso do Sul, getting into Paraná, Santa Catarina, this area right in through here, okay? That is an area that it appears that over the month of April has missed out almost entirely on precipitation. It's been wetter in Argentina. It's been wetter farther to the north. But that's been the region we've been most concerned about. Now, I'd like to just take a quick look at what's here so we know that where we need to be looking for the drier conditions because you can see that it extends right up toward the border here. So if we just go and quickly look at Google Maps of, of this, let's just focus in on where we do most of the agriculture. Uh, to the south, there's quite a bit of forest. And over here into the eastern part of the state, uh, remember, this state is large. This is like the size of Illinois here. Okay. Um, over the eastern part, we, we don't have a lot. Uh, well, the ag is a bit more dispersed. Where the majority of it is, is when you come over here into this region, the kind of northwestern quadrant. As I keep zooming in, you now start to see where the fields are, and there are a lot of them. So this is its most, uh, Parna's most productive um, ag region would certainly be in kind of that northeastern corridor, boarding up, up against the river and then into the state of Mato Grosso do Sul. So given that, um, I want to now show you a different set of imagery. This is some satellite imagery. We're going to compare last year at this time to this year. Now, what are the colors? Well, they're NDVI. And the higher the NDVI value, which means more toward these colors over here, the healthier the crop looks from space. The, the more blue, I guess, or the cooler the color, the, the less healthy it looks from space. And again, we're going to focus in right on this region. So this was last year. And as I slide this over, what we're going to notice is this year. So a year ago versus this year. Now the differences we see from a year ago, which is again what you're looking at here to this year, are due to several sources. One is the drought that's going on there. And secondly, it has a lot to do with the timing of the planting. We're very delayed this year. But what I see here is a lot more vegetation stress as viewed from satellite now, that's this year, versus a year ago not only in Mato Grosso do Sul, but into Paraná and into Santa Catarina. And, and, and then what you got down here, this is all forest. I know you probably see that as the biggest change. That's all forest down there, but still, this is substantial. So given that, where are we going in this forecast? Well, we're going to go right over to the European model and get a good look at this. All right, working our way through Thursday and into Friday, it stays dry in that region. In fact, it stays dry throughout much of Brazil's growing area through the end of this week. There is a frontal boundary here that we're going to watch Friday afternoon, working our way into the day on Saturday that's going to press farther to the north. You see it? And it could, this is Saturday working into Sunday, bring in a chance for widely scattered uh, showers and storms into this area. Now, I'm talking, you know, this isn't like ubiquitous coverage of rainfall. It's scattered precip at best. That would be Sunday into Monday. After that, as we get into early next week, the precipitation increases just offshore. The monsoon kind of resumes here for what it normally would be at the end of April, and then we go over dry. So we kind of stitch all that together. Let's just take a look at this from a different perspective. Let's go precipitation, seven-day anomaly, and let's just look at the next week, which is what you've got here. So there is that chance that as that front slides through, it brings in uh, maybe a shot at some rainfall. Will it be corrective on the drought? It does not appear to be so. But we're wetter in Argentina, and we're wetter north in Brazil. Uh, excuse me, northern Brazil. As we go from there into week two, this has been kind of our longer-term discussion. It's been quite consistent. We're dry south, okay? Drier in Argentina, higher pressure takes over. And the monsoon, while weakening at the beginning of May, still is above normal in parts of Mato Grosso, Bahia, Tocantins, Minas Gerais, this area. The question is, how long does that last? Because we need the monsoonal rains to last longer and longer, given the lateness of the planting of the safrina crop. And so we have to ask, is the MJO going to play a role in this? Now, this is the extended MJO forecast going all the way out uh, to the 20th of May. So in the next 15 days, it slides around over into phase one. And we know that phase eight and phase one favor more precipitation here in this area while it's drier farther to the south. So that's very consistent. But if the MJO does crash back here toward null space and pop back out, possibly over here in phase four or five, that would shut down the monsoon early. 
And the models are being consistent with that. If you look only at the month of May, so this is May 1st through May 30th, okay, so the, almost the whole month of May, we do see that it backs off the wetter conditions farther to the east, and we see a drier corridor in through this area. Now, we would want this area to stay wetter through May to give us higher yields, given the lateness of the safrina crop in this region. But apparently, it appears that the monsoon may have a bit of an early end uh, due to the progression of the MJO. And that, I think, will be the most important trend to watch for South America. And I'll give you the latest updates on Monday, okay? Appreciate your attention this week. Have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you then. Thank you.